welcome to my fourth sketchbook tour. Um, this one might be my favorite so far, um, so I am very excited to share it with you. Uh, first of all, please excuse my dirty hands. I have been printing all morning long and that is always a very messy process. Um, yeah, so just ignore that. And second of all, I wanted to really thank you for all of the kind comments that you have left on my previous sketchbook tours. It really means a lot to me. Uh, so yeah, let's get started. This um, sketchbook is by Strathmore and it's actually with uh, one of the toned grey sketchbooks, so it has um, grey paper. And I bought this one with a gift card I think and I didn't know what else to buy and I was really hesitant at first to start my like official sketchbook on toned paper um, and as you will see I did struggle with it in the beginning a little bit but I really come to, came to love it um, yeah the sticker here on the front is by a very talented artist on Instagram I think their handle is at bugging around um, so yeah, here the, the first page is just, I don't know, it's always a little bit random for me, so we have some kind of bug and the moon. This is a pressed flower from my holidays, my business card, and this is actually um, from the first time that I cut myself during lino cutting. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's a print of that. Speaking of lino cutting, these were just some ideas that I've had. I haven't done any of those except for the tooth. I have a little tooth print. Here we have some dinosaurs, or not all of them are dinosaurs, but you know, just some extinct animals that I copied from a book. Um, yeah, and so these ones were also done with the paper castell brush pens and this one as well and if you've seen my previous videos I love sketching with brush pens in like a really wobbly and quick style um, but I learned that this style only really works with like poses or animals or whatever um, just things that are already kind of dynamic and not as stiff as these crustaceans um, plus I really hate the colors so <laughs> let's skip this um, I, I truly gave my best to study anatomy, like human anatomy in the sketchbook again, but it's, it's so hard and I don't really, I don't really enjoy doing it yet. So it's really always a struggle to bring myself to it. Um, I think he turned out fine and she breaks my heart because I found this picture of a model on Pinterest and she had the cutest face and like a really a great body and everything. And I just... It looks awful, so I wrote you. Uh, yeah. Here are some seashells in gouache. Uh, and this is the page where I realized that you cannot sketch with um, graphite on this toned paper, or at least not with the pencil that I like to use. I like to use a, at least a, like a 4H pencil, so a really hard one, so I don't have to spray it. Uh, and it doesn't smudge um, but it really it doesn't show up at all on this paper um, yeah but these were just some hair studies this is a fun page and if you look really 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 closely one of these animals is not a beetle maybe you can guess which one <laughs> here we have some more um, lino cut ideas or plans haven't done no I did I did this one recently yeah oh, and I did the fish one okay um, some faces I really got into um, the Koinor matcha color pencils I think they are called um, where like there are different uh, colors in one pencil so it looks you don't even have to put a lot of effort in and it, the sketches kind of look more dynamic yeah, and underneath here is just a really ugly guy, so I taped this one over. 
again with those same pencils, some um, more anatomy studies, and I wrote here, never enough space for feet, which is true, because I always, for some reason, start at the um, with the head, and then I go down, and then I run out of place, so she doesn't have proper feet, she doesn't, he doesn't, and she doesn't even have a, a lower body. Yeah, it's a real problem. This is a fun page. I especially like the color, like the color scheme. Um, we have a water lily and a, like a big cricket. Um, this is what I meant with like more dynamic uh, poses with the brush pens, because my like my goal with sketching with brush pens is always to make like ugly and wobbly sketches. So I really have no pressure. Or anything and it looks just fun like these aren't good sketches but together on a spread they look fun and dynamic and yeah. this is not really a good drawing but I still like it because I bought myself a bike I used to go to school with my bike every single day for like nine years and yeah and then I never <laughs> rode a bike again now I have one again I found one at the thrift store that I work at and yeah I love her she's purple <laughs> um, yeah but bike anatomy isn't my thing either some uh, human bones again with the uh, colored pencils I don't know it just looks more interesting I think and this is one of my favorite spreads again um, my favorite spreads are always the ones that I drew at a museum. Here I was at a museum in Zurich and yeah, I, I got around the problem with not being able to draw with graphite by just drawing with a black color pencil, which shows up perfectly and doesn't really smudge either. Um, yeah, and I'm actually currently really still obsessed with drawing with um, color pencils. Uh, yeah, and I actually, I this was I think the first time that I took my watercolor set with me and like watercolored on the go. I have this little set um, that I carry around. These are just uh, Van Gogh watercolors. I put them into this empty tin because I didn't like the, the one that they came in. And this is just... Uh, some white gouache for highlights. Yes, I really, I really loved um, using watercolors in this sketchbook, especially because it 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 just gives it a cool look on the tone paper. Yeah. These are more museum sketches. I think this one was the last one that I did on site, and then these were worked on on the way home on the train. Um, because it was so hot in the museum and we just we had to go home uh, yeah but I, I love museums I need to go more more often here we have some mushrooms um, with watercolor and then colored pencils on top I I think in the beginning this was another page where I try to really push myself and just use watercolors um, and really be patient with all the layers and build up until I get the detail that I want but I, I literally gave up after the, the first <laughs> the first layer and added details with watercolor uh, with color pencils yeah here we have some geese and I think this one is a duck and geese are really scary just so you know this is again with one of those magic color pencils, um, but uh, the the Koinor ones are like curated, so you don't have like random colors in one pencil, but you have like different blues or different greens in one pencil, so they all match. And this was done with like a classic kids magic pencil with all of the primary colors in it. Um, yeah, just some tech stuff. I ruined this one by using just a straight black pencil for the outline, but here I use like a grey so it looks a little bit softer. Not something I usually draw. Something that I do usually draw, I think in almost every sketchbook, is 
Um, I'm really bad at backgrounds, so I divide my spread into little squares or rectangles and I just fill it using or I just draw uh, random photos from my camera roll. Um, yeah, and it makes it easier to get like a background done or a full picture done when it's on a much smaller scale and not a huge um, sketchbook spread. This is one of my favorite pages. I was doing some studies with gouache and I rarely ever draw from life so I really wanted to push myself and I just got like things that I had lying around and did some studies with them and they were really quick and I'm really proud of the scissors and this little guy I have a keychain and it has been with me for I think about 20 years now um, yeah, it was really a, a cool exercise. Some more of the magic color pencil. This time it's it's faces. This one is definitely um, my comfort zone. I love drawing old men. In my opinion, they're the easiest kind of faces to draw. Um, and here we have something a little bit harder for me. Um, expression. But it turned out okay, I think. This is a little frog or toad inspired spread. I don't like the individual drawings that much, but as a spread it looks it looks okay. This was <laughs> this was a really fun page. Um, it's something I never do. I never do like anything like um, abstract or like something like this. Um, but I had this Sumi ink and I wanted to test it out and so I just drew these shapes or squiggles and then I didn't know what to do with it and then I added shadows and then it looked almost like 3D and so I pushed it and added all of the white highlights yeah it was really it was really fun to do something that I never do usually this is kind of a nothing page um, this was just me planning out a painting that I wanted to do for the nursery of my first um, goddaughter and she is a, a lovely baby girl and I wanted to paint her a little tiger and I, I started it in watercolors and color pencils and it looked awful <laughs> um, and so eventually I just restarted it and painted it in oils which is my comfort zone and it turned out really cute and I love it and I love her, of course. And this was just uh, some planning. <laughs> these are some animals in motion. I'm really fascinated, fascinated by these kind of sequences. Um, and if I ever have the, the time and the energy and most of all the patience, I would love to do like an animation um, of like... Uh, <laughs> One of these sequences but for now it's just just a sketch some more colored pencils um, these were just animals that I copied from an animal book that I found oh, and then <laughs> this this spread is it's not perfect I think it's really low contrast and you have to squint to see what it even is but it's it means a lot to me because I I had so much fun painting it. Um, my boyfriend and I went to a short holiday in Locarno, which is in the Italian speaking part of Switzerland. And I had my sketchbook with me and my watercolors and we were up on a mountain. My boyfriend took a nap and I just painted the view and it took me forever. Um, mostly because it was really windy and my colors kept drying on the palette. Uh, I don't know I just I just love this way of sketching and you will see later I did it again and it really I don't know I've I've really been loving watercolors lately I never thought I'd say that um this was again on our holiday uh this is just it looks like a graphite blob but I try to like take a rubbing um there were like metal animals led into the ground and this was a trilobite and I tried to 
make a wrapping of it and it didn't turn out well so it's just a blob but that's okay um, and these were just some fine liner sketches and um, actually when I was drawing these the waitress came over and she complimented me and that was really awkward but I was really excited <laughs> Um, yeah, and these were again these, these sketches in watercolor. Um, I think I love the spread even a little bit more than the other one. Um, this was in our last evening. We were sitting at the Lago Maggiore. My boyfriend took another nap and I painted just things that I saw. So we here have um, the stones and the lake like washing up against them, some of the palm trees, a rock, some seagrass or some plant thing and um, some driftwood and just I love it and I especially love it how it looks on the toned paper yeah really proud of it then I was back at home and we visited my grandparents and so these are just things from my grandmother's apartment some lamps and decoration and a plant and this is actually my my grandmother i i think this was like the first time ever that i drew a person from life um like somebody that i know that could could see what i what i draw uh, she didn't know this um and i actually i didn't really want to want her to notice because it's so very awkward to me but she was talking to my mother who was sitting here so she had her head turned away and I actually obviously I didn't have to like get her face right because you don't see her face but every time I look at this I'm really proud of myself and I think yes this looks like your grandmother's like the back of your head of your like the back of the head of your grandmother <laughs> there we go I'm just I, I love this bread and these were the last sketches from my holiday or holiday and um, these were done when I was at home just from pictures that I took and um, I again divided the page and yeah I, these were just again done with just with watercolors and I I really love this style and just uh, it's really loose and almost not really abstract but okay <laughs> these ducks are really abstract but I love them I love them a lot This is another um, painting from life with gouache. I had bought some cheese balls and I had to paint the, like the back before I ate them. And I, I think I, I messed up up here. Like the colors are really muddy and the, the text looks bad. But all in all, it was fun to paint. And it's always a good exercise to draw or especially paint from life. Here we have some bears and... Um, color pencils. Um, my father and I are cleaning out our workshop um, and there are still a lot of things left from my great-grandfather so I drew some of the stuff we found. He also found his shaving stuff there. Yeah. This is another one of my favorite pages. This is uh, Charlie, our, our um, our cat, he is the most beloved cat ever and the sweetest boy um, and the sleepiest boy. Uh, I was at home and I knew I was I, I was going to leave soon for a week. I wasn't going to be home and I knew I would be able to see him and I started to miss him and I had like half an hour left before I had to leave and so I just sketched him quickly. Um, these are with the Polychromos color pencils. Um, and I actually, I always thought these were like for the hyper-realistic drawings, and they are, um, but I also, I really love the vib vibrancy of them to, to sketch. Um, yeah, and I just, I love it. I love how this, this picture looks. It looks so calm because he's obviously, it's a sleeping cat, it has to look calm, but it's also really like vibrant and I don't know. <laughs> Can you tell I like this page? Yeah, and here's my sleepy baby. Here I kind of tried to recreate this style with the color pencil scribbles. It didn't turn out as well. Maybe it's just because it isn't a cute cat. Um, no, but this 
was the I was staying at my friend's house for a week and these were some plants on her windowsill. This is a starry night sky. Um, I blackened out uh, the background with again with the Sumi ink and the stars are done just with white gouache and this was actually inspired because my boyfriend and I went stargazing and it was really beautiful um, and we saw we saw some um, shooting stars um, but what really impressed me was was the Starlink satellites I had never seen them and honestly I never heard of them before and so I was really I was really shocked when I just saw this trail of lights <laughs> floating around um, yeah maybe I'm I don't know, maybe I'm living underneath the rock, but I was just really amazed. Um, yeah, and I, I didn't get like the constellations perfectly right, but I did try a little bit. Here I finally, finally used um, alcohol markers again. I was one of these artists who, um, yeah, I grew up with draw, watching Drawing with Waffles, who She's an amazing artist, you need to know her. Um, and she always uses alcohol markers. And I was a like a baby artist and I spent so much money on alcohol markers. Um, and I never use them because they don't really fit my style yet, I think. And they're I'm just not used to using them. Um, so I pushed myself and made this um, Parasaurolophus with them. And yeah, it's not perfect, but I like the like the the line work that I added. Oh god! Um, another thing about alcohol markers is that they bleed through a lot. So here I covered it with uh, black ink, and here I tried to color match um, the the paper with gouache. And so this was just like a study page and. Again, I really tried hard to to learn anatomy again, but I, I don't know. I don't know how to do it. It looks so... I really, really tried. I used all of the tricks, but it just looks so incredibly stiff. Yeah. So, here we have my absolute favorite page. The whole sketchbook, and I think one of my favorite sketchbook spreads ever. Um, it's of a little beetle, or actually a big beetle. He was like this big, and I found him on our porch. And yes, his name is Gerhard. And I took a bunch of pictures of him, and I oh, I love this page so much. And this actually inspired almost like a, a new style, like this combination of um, sketches and like one finish finished. Um, drawing and some facts and some writing I love it so much <laughs> I'm, I'm really obsessed with it can you tell and this is I really I'm proud of myself for how I added highlights to his um, to his body <laughs> um, yeah I'm proud of this one and this is really the style that I am now also going for more in my current sketchbook um <laughs> This is an ugly page. I tried to use um, ink like with a dip pen, which I never do, and so I had really bad ink control, and it was just it was just a mess. But I drew some um, invertebrates because I had to read a book for school, um, which is by a Swiss orth author, um, and the book is called uh, Virbolo, so it's invertebrates, and it's an amazing book. So if you understand German or if it gets translated one day you you need to read it it's one of the best books I have read in a while um, this looks like nothing on the first glance and it does look like like nothing on the second glance and um, if you don't know what it is but um, my father found this like piece of pottery that he made and that we used to keep in our aquarium for the fish to swim around um, and it's just like a, a brown blob, and it's not supposed to be anything, but I was in inspired by the shapes and I painted it again from life with gouache. 
Um, yeah, but if you don't know what it's supposed to be, <laughs> it's just a brown blob. Here we have a little bit of a nothing page. Um, this is drawn from a, s a picture that um, Mike Kaplanis posted on Instagram. He's a really great artist and he posted a selfie and he has an, he had an inspiring face so I drew him and then I didn't know what to do on this page so I just tried to express my, um, my suffering <laughs> from the heat. Um, it was, we had one day where it was 36 degrees and it was crushing me. It was way too hot. Plus, I was covered in mosquito bites. Um, yeah. This page was another poor attempt to study a little bit of anatomy. I just looked up references and just like drew or painted the silhouettes in ink. Uh, yeah. These are some um, animals. And I was really frustrated at first because look at this cow. Um, I don't think it's healthy for a cow to have such short legs. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I was just, I wasn't warmed up. I was actually not really in the mood to sketch. And so that's how your sketches look when you don't want to sketch. This is another one of the wobbly <laughs> sketches page, I call them, with the brush pen. And here are some figures. Um, I really like the color scheme uh, and actually maybe there's the problem. I think these ones turned out much more dynamic and less stiff than the previous ones where I really tried to like properly study the anatomy. Yeah. And here I did a, a second page with sketches like this. Again, didn't have room for the feet. <laughs> Here we have some watercolor sketches. If you don't know, I am um, painting a series of animal skulls in oil, just oil on canvas. And it's basically, it's always the same thing. It's just different um, species skulls. Um, but here I was deciding which skulls I want to paint next and I think I sketched out the pig skull, the crow skull and the deer skull but I will do all of the other ones one day as well. Here I try to sketch with crayons um, and look the thing is I think three years ago I would have been really proud of these because this is exactly what my art used to look like three years ago. I was always drawing faces and I was doing like these three color combination faces a lot and so I guess then I would have been proud of it but now I I know that I can do better and so it's just um, yeah <laughs> it's not that great. Here we have gouache landscape. I'm not really a landscape painter but who doesn't love canyons? I mean they're really fun shapes and I actually I was really surprised but I actually managed to paint a horse and a, a guy on top of it and I don't look completely wrong. Um, yeah. I think this is <laughs> one of the worst pages. Um, I don't know I, I Really, I just want to be able to draw characters, like the character design. Um, and I, I look, I know I have other strength in art. I have places where I, or like subjects that I know how to draw or paint and that I'm good at. But then, uh, then I try something like this and I actually, it took me like an hour to draw her on Procreate. I just sticked her in here so I wouldn't forget how maybe if one day I can draw characters i wouldn't forget how i started out but uh, i don't know <laughs> let's just forget about it and this is another one of my favorite spreads this is again done in the same like style like the the page with the beetle we have like just uh colored pencil sketches and then one proper colored in sketch with watercolors and then almost like some sciency 
illustrations, well, there are scientific illustrations. I copied them from my school book. We were talking about uh, volcanoes, obviously, and I was really captivated and I, I love this spread. Here we have some animals, again with the black colored pencil. And these are actually from photos that my uncle took. He is a very talented uh, nature photographer. Um, and yeah, I don't think the sketches are that great, but his pictures are, so. <laughs> that. And this is the last spread. Um, please ignore this, this squirrel. I think he looks almost a little bit mean. Um, but yeah, <laughs> let's just forget about him. These were again done from pictures that my uncle took. So we have a bee eater and a mean squirrel. Uh, I think this one turned okay. Turned out okay. Um, this one did it, but I honestly just wanted to be done with the sketchbook. Uh, yeah, so I left it at that. And then this is just uh, the page that I always keep um, to test paints and pens and I think it's very important that you test your pens on the pa on the paper that you actually use, so especially if it's toned paper. And yeah, and this is a, a doodle that I made in class of a dinosaur and this skeleton, just from my head. And yeah, that is my latest sketchbook. Um, as I said, I am really proud of this one and I uh, I think I, I really learned to love the toned paper. Now I just use white paper again, but maybe in the future I will use this sketchbook again. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please let me know if you even enjoy <laughs> longer videos. I know these videos are really long and on one hand I, I want to keep them a little bit shorter, so yeah, uh, as not to bore you. But then again, on the other hand, this is like the reason that I have started filming videos for YouTube because I can just really go in into depth with my sketches and talk about them and not have them like all compressed into one one minute video in, on Instagram. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think and thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Bye!